So what is the Taylor series? Well, the Taylor series is a way of taking the polynomial approximation of a function. So what's the formula? Well, the formula is if you have a function f of x that you're trying to expand, it'll be sigma from n equals zero to infinity of the nth derivative of f at point a over n factorial times x minus a to the n. So this is a bit daunting, but let's try an example with sine of x. So the key here is that a is just any number that we choose, real or complex. So for the purposes of simplicity, we'll use a equals zero. By the way, this is a special type of Taylor series called a Maclaurin series. So we'll start with the n equals zero term. And this term will be sine of zero over zero factorial times x minus zero to the zeroth. So basically, sine of zero is just zero. So this entire term will equal zero and we can ignore it. After that, we'll have the n equals one term, the first derivative of sine at zero over one factorial times x minus zero to the first power. And the first derivative of sine is cosine and cosine of zero is one. And one over one factorial is one times x is just x. So then we'll add the n equals two term which is the second derivative of sine at zero over two factorial times x minus zero squared. And here we can see that the second derivative of sine is just negative sine and negative sine of zero is still zero. So what this shows us is we can ignore terms where n is even because it'll either be sine or negative sine. And both of those when applied to zero are just zero, just in this case of the sine function. So, Next, we move on to the n equals three term. So the third derivative of sine at zero over three factorial times x minus zero cubed and so on. And this simplifies to, well, the third derivative of sine is negative cosine and negative cosine of zero is negative one over three factorial is negative one sixth times x cubed. So our approximation so far is x minus x cubed over six. And next we add the n equals five term. Remember we're skipping the n equals four term. So the fifth derivative of sine at zero over five factorial times x minus zero to the fifth. And the fifth derivative of sine is cosine. Cosine of zero is one. Five factorial is 120. So it'll be x to the fifth over 120. And we can go on like this. So the beauty of the Taylor series is that it works for any function. It works for a natural log. It works for cosine. It works for tangent any function. So here we have the sine function for reference and let's start writing out our polynomial approximation. So here we have g of x equals x. That's the first term. And note that of course, this is just a line, but if we're very close to our a zero, if we're very close to our a, then our approximation is decent. But as we get farther, it diverges and to be precise in this region or in this region, we have to retain more terms. So let's add the next term. Note that now we can get a tiny bit farther from zero and still our polynomial is decent. Adding one more term, we get even more precise and so on. So the whole concept is the more terms you retain, the farther you can get from A.
and so on. And here you can see that we're, we already have pretty decent precision all the way up to negative pi and up to pi. So the key here is that we can't retain infinitely many terms because if we retained infinitely many terms, of course we'd have a perfect sine wave just as a polynomial. However, we can't retain infinitely many. So what we do instead is we use periodicity. So sine is a periodic function. So since we have the approximation up to here, from there on out, it's just copies, positive and negative.